So the object of experiment number 7 is to test an overcurrent directional relay of inverse type using ME2000 universal system. So shown here is the ME2000 universal test system. Looking into the panels, we can see that there are certain uh, inputs and outputs that this test system employs. So on the leftmost side of this panel is a terminal to provide DC output because some of the some relays operate on DC sources. Then moving on the right side, we see that there is a panel to provide voltage output. In fact, this is used to test voltage relays. And then on the right side to the voltage output is the current output, which is employed to test the current relays. Then further moving, uh, we have binary output, which is provided to relays, which employ by a binary signals for certain operations then we have binary input so this is the these are the terminals where the signals from the relay are sensed so when the relay trips it sends a signal in the form of binary to these terminals so the output from the relay will be connected to binary input then we have the display here and on the right side of the display we have input panel so from using this panel we'll be providing and what we'll be programming the testing system in order to test a relay under consideration. Then below this input panel, we have a socket for connecting computer. And in fact, this universal test system can be programmed using a computer. So shown where is the on the left side is the front view of the relay under test, which has time setting and plug setting. So if you look into the plug setting, display so you'll see that there is uh, there are uh, settings from 0 0.5 0 0.75 1 1.25 1.5 to 2 amperes of plug setting then above this is plug setting multiplier which shows the corresponding digit that is required to be multiplied then on the right side is the back view of the relay which shows the terminals that are provided in order to connect with the testing system so we have terminals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there are 10 terminals in order to connect with the required operating system. So shown here, here is the operation how the relay operates and trips. So as soon as the current passes through the relay, the duction disk rotates and will allow the relay to trip. So there is a slight malfunctioning of the flag, which is uh, which can be seen that the flag is not working. So using the circuit connections given in the sheets will be uh, connecting the ME testing system, ME2000 testing system with the relay under consideration. So, in fact, the relay that we are going to test does not require any type, does not require any type of DC supply for its operation. So, for its operation, it will be drawing current from the current that flows through the relay, and thus we will be having connection to the relays using only the the two panels the current output and from that relay will be providing an input to the testing system through binary input so if you look into the the panel shown here we have since uh, ia is connected to the terminal 10 and ian is connected to 9 so we'll be connecting these two terminals at 8, 10 and 9 and in fact since we are testing a relay which is a single phase relay and thus we'll be short circuiting ia ib and ic and in order to sense the signal when the relay trips, we will be employing this panel, the binary input. And as shown here, binary input has its one terminal connected to three and the other terminal connected to four. So thus, this particular terminal will be connected to the terminal three of relay and this will be connected to four. So one thing that I missed in the ME testing system is that the voltage output and current output has 
have three terminals in order to test for example in case of voltage output we'll be testing three phase voltages VA, VB, VC. So if you have three phase relay you can test a three phase relay as well here and for a three phase current relay you can connect the three terminals IA, IB, IC and IN here. While in case of a single phase relay you will be short circuiting IA, IB and IC and providing this to the one terminal of the relay and IN to the second terminal of the relay. So here are the circuit connections as is clear that terminal 3 and 4 are connected to the binary input while the current output uh, the three terminals IA, IB, IC are short circuited and through this red wire are connected to terminal 10 while the black wire through IN is connected to terminal 9. So here is the testing in the panel of the testing system and there are uh, multiple choices that can be opted for so we are testing an inverse type of relay thus we will be using inverse uh, as the option and in the inverse time relay option we have current time curve voltage time curve and frequency time curve since we are testing a current relay we will be choosing it curve if this would have been a voltage relay we will be choosing vt curve if it would have been a frequency relay in that case, we, we were to choose FT curve. Now, once we choose IT curve, we will have to provide certain inputs. How this testing system will be operating? So, we'll be choosing an initial current. For example, we'll be choosing this as 1 ampere. So, we'll start with a current of 1 ampere and provide this to the relay. And we'll be uh, then choosing the I end, which means the the maximum current that the relay will be provided with and this will be chosen as 8 and i step means that the difference in the subsequent step and that would be chosen as 1 ampere so we'll be moving as 1 2 3 4 5 up till 8 and the maximum fault in seconds so this is the time that we will allow the relay to sense the fault so if the time goes beyond 10 seconds then the relay will not be sensing the uh, or will not be tripping if the fault is time is less than 10 seconds then in that case the relay will be tripped and we'll wait for certain time for uh, for around 10 seconds for each of these steps to uh, be tested on relay for example after providing one ampere of initial current we'll wait for 10 seconds then we'll provide two amperes then for 10 seconds we'll wait for 10 seconds after after the relay trips and so this is the gap that we'll be providing between subsequent tests uh, and one thing more is that while the voltage relays are used to detect rapid increase in voltages due to generator failure if you are going to use over voltage relays while for under voltage relays are used in places where low voltages which are for example caused by power interruptions or short circuits are employed while frequency relays are employed at places where uh, you'll have to shed the loads whenever there is system uh, frequency that falls to a level to, uh, to a low level such as to threaten the stability of the power system now we'll perform uh, the, uh, the experiment in order to obtain cert certain set of observations for plug setting taken as one Uh, you can see that the disk is rotating now or uh, current taken as one ampere there was no trip because the fault time the maximum fault time went beyond 10 seconds for i equal to 2 ampere we again see that the disk is rotating and now we observe a trip at 8.668 seconds Then for I equal to 3 ampere, we again see that the disk is rotating and a trip at 6.038 seconds. Now again for I equal to 4 seconds, the trip is observed at 5.028 seconds.
at i equal to 5 amperes, we have a trip at 4.47 seconds. For 6 amperes, we have trip at 4.07 seconds. And for I equal to 7 amperes, we have trip of relay at 3.768 seconds. In fact, 7 amperes is the maximum current, the rated current of the relay. And now, if we go beyond 8 amperes, we see that I C gets over. So it's written over here. So 8 ampere is the current where the relay overloads and there was a sound of beep heard. And the time that it shows is not correct now because the relay in fact should have been operated at current less than or equal to 7 amperes and thus the reading corresponding to 8 amperes is incorrect shown over here. So you'll simply write overload in place of 4.27. Similarly, we can observe another set of readings by choosing the plug setting at 0.75. So now what we are going to do is we are going to provide uh, current from 1 to with the difference of 0.5 amperes starting from 1 ampere and the maximum current that the relay can tolerate at plug setting 0.75 is 3 ampere. So for 1 ampere we have no trip because the fault, the trip took place for time greater than 10 seconds. And for 1.5 ampere we have a trip around 8.398 seconds. For 2 ampere, we have a trip at 6.8 seconds. Then for 2.5 amperes, the trip is observed at 5.831 seconds. And for 3 ampere, we see that the relay is overloaded. So we will be simply writing in place of 3 amperes overload. Now you will have to make report including the, four, the following questions.